Before I get this video started, I want to say I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I hope you guys are feeling the peace, bliss, and joy, and love of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you guys, if you don't have a blessed day, I pray that you have a blessed day. So I need to speak about a couple visions I had. I'm going to start with the first vision I had. I'm going to speak about a dream and then a vision I had prior to that dream. So the first one I'm going to talk about is what happened like now. And then the dream I had August 31st and then the vision I had a few days before that. Three times, <laughs> y'all. So essentially I was praying. I was praying for the world. The world's going through a lot. My heart grieves for them. The Holy Spirit grieves. So as I'm praying, I seen this, now I'm gonna say state, cause that's what I thought it was. I thought it was a state. I thought it was the state of Florida from what it seemed. It was long, almost like Florida. Now, as I am praying, I seen this, this circular red dot on the top, middle, right corner. And y'all, after that, I seen this, this mushroom cloud and Once I seen that mushroom cloud, I asked God, where is this gonna be? Cause then I knew it can't be Florida. Like what, what does Florida have to do with a nuclear explosion? They're not, it just doesn't make sense. I'm like thinking like this, how, how could this make sense? No, it's not Florida. And I heard the word Palestine. So, you know, I end off the prayer and I go to my phone and I look up Palestine map because I I'm, I'm trying to see if this is truly from God so I look it up and lo and behold the country of Israel looks like kind of like Florida it's just this is like strip and at that point okay i'm like okay he's definitely trying to show me something i'm looking for the on the top right corner i'm trying to see okay it can't it can't be in israel god is protecting israel i'm i'm, I'm thinking where could it ended up i was looking in palestine because that's where god said it was in the top corner right corner of the whole country of Israel, where it was, was in the West Bank, the U.S. Bank. I didn't even know where that was, y'all. And it, it had me shocked because that is currently where they're fighting. I believe one of the places, I'm not an expert by no means, but that's where God showed me it would happen. Now, on August 31st in the morning, I also had a dream. Now the dream was, I was in this ark. Now it was about the size of a two story apartment building. And it wasn't too big, but I seen people on the ark and it was people that I sensed in the spirit that I have saved to get onto the ark. And there was like children, like, I don't even know. Besides that, I see I'm on top, I'm on the top floor of the ark and I'm looking and I'm, we're in a field and I see these tornadoes coming towards the ark and right, like before they could even hit us, it just dissipates like the wind just kind of blew the tornado so it wouldn't fully form and then another one would come 
literally, and I'm yelling, a tornado, a tornado's coming, watch out, dissipates, and then another one popped up, a tornado, watch out, dissipates, like the wind just blew it so it wouldn't fully form into a big tornado and basically wipe us out the map because we're getting close the third i think it was the third one or the fourth one in that dream a tornado was forming i'm yelling and it doesn't stop it kept going it actually got bigger and right before it hit the arc y'all this red horse jumps out of the tornado lands on top of the arc and is fierce it is like, I don't know, when, you know a horse when it does that with its two front legs? It was doing that, and on the rider, the rider of that horse had a, had silver armor on and a sword. I believe he had a sword, and, and the horse was fierce. It was like blood, not even blood red. It was just like very, very red, and it was demonic-like and fierce. I'm explain my interpretation of that dream, but also want to share before I had that dream, I also was praying deeply another day and I had a vision of a mushroom cloud and I asked God, when will this happen? And he told me September and this was in August, y'all. This was about like, I think the last week of August, if I could remember first, no, the last or the last second week of besides that. God is really trying to show me something. God is really trying to show me something, y'all. And he told me to share this to people. I don't care, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of skeptics and I completely understand, but you guys need to kind of understand that I'm not, it breaks my heart that I even have to say this, but I'm really not trying to do this for views. I'm trying to help people get closer to God, to get closer to Jesus, because I'm telling you, just like in the days of Noah, that's what we're living in. The West has fallen. It's fallen. The economy is going to collapse. The only reason why they're not telling you is because you are part of the stock market. You know, if everyone found out what truly is going on, y'all, the stock market would collapse. Everyone would go broke. They can't allow that. They can't. So, you know, the only thing I could really tell you guys Get close to Jesus, please, please, y'all. At least spend some time. And if, if you don't, full, just just look into it. If, if you are a non-believer, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit just dwells within you. Because I'm telling you, in, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm telling you. Okay. Now, my interpretation of that dream is that each tornado that comes is a disaster that is about to happen. The ark symbolizes those who are saved, those who are on the boat, ready to be taken up and raptured. The red horse symbolizes one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, which is silver on unre civil unrest and war. That is what is happening. If you all look in Aurora, Colorado, if you if you guys, and it's, it's crazy because literally the next day later, now there's protests, big protests in Israel. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro, get ready, get ready. I'm trying, trying to save as many people as I can. I wouldn't be making this video if I, if God didn't tell me, if, if I didn't feel any conviction through the Holy Spirit to even, besides that. Pray for the innocent people of Israel. It's all over the world in general. Because I'm telling you what's what's to come is gonna be really bad, very bad. And many people in America, all over the world, well I'll say mostly America. I can't speak for others around the world because I'm not I'm in America. A lot of people here are too blinded. They don't know what's going on. They're they're too worried about what's the next restaurant they're gonna eat at. <laughs> unbelievable just know that the rapture is going to happen soon and God is showing me this too it's going to happen soon so for those who are believers use this as words of um, encouragement 
that is going to happen soon. But for those who aren't saved, for those who aren't saved, get on the boat. Because I'm telling you, when you do find out what truly is going to happen, it'll probably be too late. Don't let your ego or pride get in the way. The, the pride is, no, I'm sorry, the truth wall, I mean, the truth is a brick wall to the prideful. You guys got to kind of just be open-minded, please. God loves you very, very much. So much, y'all. Get, get close to the most high. Don't take these words for granted. Continue praying. Continue growing in faith. If y'all don't hear from me again, I'll see you guys in heaven. You guys stay blessed. I love you. God loves you so much. Keep your heads up high for your, your redemption draws near. That's all for today. God bless.